Now, it's been 50 years since the start of the Biafran War, one of Africa's bloodiest post-independence conflicts. What was the Nigerian conflict about and why does its legacy still matter today? This is a part of the highlights at a Never Again Conference Summit on Nigeria Biafra War, which took place on Monday in Lagos. Civil War, there were saints and there were sinners. And there were heroes and there were traitors. It is not possible to talk about the war without talking about the kind of emotion that came out of people returning from after fleeing Lagos nearly four years earlier, realizing that their Yoruba neighbor had rented out their house and dutifully saved the rent and paid them that money as they returned, changing the 20 pound scenario. When a nation is generally headed in a direction by people who are lacking in those, that nation is in crisis. And we must not allow our country to go that way. It is all part of our humanity to call history to account from time to time. And most especially in those moments when its observed fault lines are exposed through one means or the other. Even today, many will admit that in this same nation, the question remains unresolved that more and more voices are probing that question, just when is a nation? Innumerable are the casualties from contestations of that facile and unreflective proposition that whatever is, is immutably ordered, which confers the mantle of divine ordinance on those special contrivances called nations. I fought the war. As a young girl, 14, 15, 16, 17, I was in that war, and I lost many relatives. I worked in hospitals. I carried babies who died in my arms. I treated old people who took days to die. People were dying out of hunger. Even our soldiers were dying out of hunger at a particular point. But thank God. And now our correspondent, Mary Chinda, who was at the event, joins us to talk about the submissions at the summit. Thank you very much, Mary, for joining us on the news. Uh, thank you, Felicity. All right, quickly, what is the remembrance called Never Again Conference about? Okay, so it's it's really an emotional time for Igbos generally in the country as they're marking 50 years after the Nigeria Biafra civil war. Um, remember that this is one civil war that was one of the bloodiest in Africa. Um, it had over 2 million Biafran civilians die due to starvation. Now that's away from the um, elderly people who, who were military casualties of the war. Now the Never Again Conference was basically a conference put together by uh, by Ohane Zendibu, by Mzuko Muna, and basically um, the Ndibu people to come together to say this is 50 years after we've had this war. What is the situation? Have we gone better? Are we doing well living together as a country? Are there things that we need to agitate for? Are there things that you know we should ask the government to do? Are we still committed to a country called Nigeria. You know, it's it's really emotional. It, oh, it was emotional at the conference, listening to Onyeko when he recount how, you know, at the age of 15, 16, she was in the war, children died in her uh, in her arms, um, she lost uncles, she lost aunties. That was basically the mood of the conference. We had people, I interviewed people who, who were in the war, people who lost fathers, people who lost mothers, you know, to the war. So never again conference was to say, okay, it's 50 years after, what have we done with ourselves as a nation, as the nation of Ndibu, and what are we doing right or doing, doing wrong living in Nigeria? Are we still Mary committed to the, to the country called Nigeria? Yeah. 
Yeah, let me let me ask you this. Uh, the professor Pati told me, uh, Ohanez Ndibo and Onyeka Owenu, um, as you mentioned, in particular, what were their submission? What were their statements that is a takeaway for you? Okay, so what 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 anyone would take away, especially as a journalist, is the fact that there is some kind of crisis in this nation, and that is a, a crisis that we, we have with leadership. Patrick told me, submitted to me in a private interview, in an exclusive interview I had for Plus TV Africa, that the issue is the issue of leadership. It's been a perennial issue. Now, there are some side talks about, okay, it's 2023, and we need an Igbo president, we need a Yoruba president, the Igbos are agitating, we've been marginalized for long, and we need to be president. But from, from, from what he's saying, it is, it is a shift from just an Igbo president to a meaningful Igbo, Efik, Hausa, or Yoruba president. You know, so it's, it's, a, it's a period of sober reflection and it's a period to say, okay, this is how far we've come. And we don't want, want war again. That's the Indibus. Do Indeed. not want we certainly war don't again. want war That's again. That's basically the takeaway from this conference. Mary, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you very much, Felicity.